Okay, guys, welcome back. So, um, we're going to do a trail run at this, and, um, my main problem now is having four or five ideas at one time and knowing which one to go with, um, if you guys want to know, it would be appreciated. Um, I was on Heathen Reddit, and the reason I get so angry at that place is that oftentimes people do go there looking for genuine help, and they get smashed into a pile of bits by the more heathen than now heathens, and these are usually, usually armchair people, I think. I don't think they actually practice or worship the gods, because if they did, they'd have some discipline. I got, ooh, savage. And, you know, there was this kid, and the kid deleted his thing. I don't know if he, like, deleted his whole Reddit thing or what he did, but he definitely, you know, deleted some other stuff. And, um, kid's gone through a lot in his life. He's gone through depression and, you know, basically can't, you know, can't get to help and, you know, um, people, the good people, were encouraging him to get to help, and the kid's main problem was he wondered if he was upsetting the old father. If the kid's somehow watching this, the old man has a really thick skin. You can't do anything to get to him. You really can't. It's, you know, it, you, you having to cope with going through the stresses of your everyday life, kid, ain't gonna upset the old man, so have all the fantasies you want. Um, and basically, he imagines himself as an old-time Viking warrior, and he has died, but the old man won't let him into Valhalla, so he's calling the old man out, which... Oh, dear. He's calling the old man out to fight him, and I'm like, this actually sounds like an Odin's person in the making, because most Odin's people are like, well, pff, fine, you kill me, I'll just bother you forever. And <laughs> I've already told him, you kill me, I will haunt you. And so, no, the old man, you know, the old man isn't going to get offended if that's your coping mechanism. And a few people even said, you know, that might be the old man's way of helping. Come fight me, come fight me, come fight me, come fight my rejection. You know, that's, you know, I, I don't have any training, but, you know, fighting the rejection fighting the rejection to get into Valhalla, that's a very positive thing. And hopefully one day, as this kid's daydreaming, he finally gets into Valhalla and he realizes that, you know, um, Odin isn't, you know, Odin isn't the bad guy. You know, just so the kid would know, Odin isn't the bad guy. People like to paint him as the bad guy, especially in video games, because people are lazy. He's not bad, but he's not going to be the vanilla whitewashed flavor of goodness that some deities are. Most of our gods are what you'd actually call neutral. They're mostly good, but they can do things that we would see as bad. Sometimes it's things we see as bad because we're humans and we're short-sighted. Sometimes they're things that are bad because they're gods and they're mad at us. Usually they're, they're neutral. Usually they're neutral. You go to them, you ask for help, they will usually help. Not always. Sometimes we don't know why, but they don't help. But our gods are usually, you know, they're neutral. And that's kind of scary, I think, for some people because they're used to being told, you know, their god's good, their god's wonderful, and their god will never hurt them. Our gods is like, eh, they're, they're usually good, but, you know, it's kind of like, you know, sometimes, like Loki has told me, you know, sometimes it's like we humans are little kids. And they're usually gentle, kind parents. Sometimes, you know, they can be a little aloof depending on their personality, but... You know, sometimes the kid's really done it, too, and that's when you do get called on the carpet, and that's when you do get dressed down, and that's when you do, you know, think about your life choices, but they're, they're not going to do half the stuff you're going to read on the internet to you, either. I have had some more aggressive things happen from the old man, but that's because I'm someone who agreed to work with him. I've worked with him for years. And sometimes he is, you know, harsher to be kind, but, you know, a kid having to deal with day-to-day -day depression and just making it through every day isn't going to have to worry about that. So we hope that if the kid saw that, that helped, but, you know, um, the old man isn't some fragile little snowflake that is protected. Um, some, you know, the people that dogpiled him were taking offense on the old man's behalf. There are a lot worse people that actually do actual damage to heathenry that you have to worry about. This kid wasn't claiming to be heathen. He wasn't claiming to work with the, the gods. He was at least saying he respected. He at least cared enough to ask if he would be offending the old man because he at least believed in him. That's better than, you know, a lot of the trolls out there that, you know, claim to serve the gods and they do terrible things in their names or, you know, they, they just go around, they disrupt stuff. That's a lot better than that, you know, at least this kid's trying to do the right thing, and this kid's worried about whether or not he'd offend the old father. You can't really do anything to offend him, and believe me, you know. And he's going to consider the situation. He's not going to 
answer a kid dealing with depression the same way he's going to answer someone that's been serving him for years and really messed up and did so willfully knows it. So, you know, the, the punishment will fit the crime as with Loki, so it's nothing to worry about. Um, maybe the kid will become heathen later. You know, maybe he'll start serving the old man. Maybe he's serving the old man now by doing that, you know. The gods will take what they can get, you know. We're not living in the old days. And the kind of temples they're getting, they really, you know, the kind of people they're pulling up the temples now, the gods are kind of like, nah. at least here in America, they're like, maybe not. So, so it's okay. And, you know, um, it's going to be all right. And it's it's fine to think about those things. In fact, that's one of the things I do with Loki. I sometimes, you know, if we're not actually having a fight, sometimes think of how we would fight about something and he's like that's okay if you need to get stress or anger or whatever out you can't do it online and you don't want to tank the channel go ahead have a fight with me i don't think our gods would care our gods would be the first gods especially glad of war he'd be happy to fight with somebody if that's what it took to get you know somebody out of depression and that is one of the things he worries about he's definitely a god that would understand from all of his trials and tribulations so would loki so would all of them more or less but those two especially mental health so you know it's it's going to be okay so we hope you guys like that one we're kind of out of practice but if you like what you see like comment subscribe and we'll see you later bye bye